Hi there YouTube, as promised, I am going to film a Joan Day and Night Cream follow-up video and I thought, you know, what better way to start off the review or update of the cream than when I'm applying it. So a quick, I guess, glimpse as to my skincare routine. So I did double cleansing and then I toned my face as well. So right now I'm just applying moisture right before anything else. So yeah, currently I am in Spain and Let's see how the Joan Night Cream holds up in Spain. I just scoop up a little bit of it and then put on my fingers and then kind of just dab here and there and just apply. This dries extremely quickly, so I'm like really, really happy about that. Ooh. Make sure I get everything, and yeah, by the time I'm like finishing talking, I'm pretty sure all the cream would have dried. So this cream is so fast drying, and I think that's why the cream itself is just such a wonderful cream. I think that's like the best advantage to this cream, aside from the fact that like the night cream is actually just really, really moisturizing for the skin. But anyways, like I said, since my hands are off, like it's been like, what, five seconds and it's completely dried. So um, let's continue this on, I think, the couch. But yeah, thanks for joining me. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are back on my couch now in the hotel room that I'm staying in Spain. And so I wanted to kind of give you guys a very, very thorough recap and kind of touch base with you guys again about the Joan Day and Night Cream and advantages, disadvantages, things I liked about it, things I didn't like about it, etc, etc. And so to kick things off, let's talk about the different environments that I've been in. So I've been in Chicago slash Illinois in general where you have harsh cold winds and also harsh cold temperatures. I've also been in Taiwan where it's like pretty humid and, you know, decently hot and I mean humidity is just over the roof so uh finally i'm in spain right now and so three different environments three completely different results with the cream and i just kind of wanted to go through some of them one by one to kick things off chicago or the windy illinois weather that's super cold in winter this cream is great during the night but terrible during the day for me because the day cream actually breaks moisture if you lose it alone after like around four, five, maybe six, if you're lucky, hours. And if you double apply, which the way I double apply is put the night cream on first and then the day cream, the night cream dries quicker. That's kind of why I chose that method because I didn't want to wait for the day cream, especially since I'm a student and all. And so, yeah. If you double apply, what ends up happening is you'll probably end up with around six to seven hours of moisture before it breaks moisture throughout the day, which is still pretty good. But you know, when like wind chill is hitting your face and like cracking it and everything, it just feels really awkward and painful at times. But anyways, I think Illinois in general is just a weather anomaly because like all the other places that I've tested this cream geographically, it's been perfect. Like for Taiwan, this cream has been absolutely amazing. I was actually a little worried about the day cream because one thing about like day creams in general is that producers or like, I guess, skincare like products typically either go on a spectrum from super heavy on the skin to super light on the skin. And this is kind of found the balance between those two things because in humid weather is like Taiwan, if you're super heavy on the skin, you really feel that like sagging oily feeling on your skin when you walk out progressively throughout the day. And so what I really like about the Joan Day cream is that because it's so quick drying, it holds moisture while on top of holding moisture, it's not giving you that like super saggy feeling throughout the day or accumulating that like oil like feeling. And so because of that, I'd say that both the day and the night cream work extremely well in like humid temperatures or tropical temperatures like Taiwan. Of course, 
Maybe in the extreme of that, it might be a little different, but I'd say Taiwan is pretty humid for the place that it's in, so it's closer to the end of the extreme than the other. So anyways, let's talk Spain. So Spain is generally at a very comfortable temperature right now. Comfortable as in, you know, like no harsh winds or anything blowing on your face. And it's just like normal winter temperatures, like, you know, five degrees Celsius, six degrees Celsius, something like that. Or, you know, like 40 something, 50 something degrees Fahrenheit. And these temperatures are working completely fine. The day cream held up really well. I didn't feel any break in moisture. And the night cream, I mean, I'm fairly confident that the night cream works perfectly in any environment. So yeah. Let's jump a little bit to what I think about the product. So because I do live in Illinois, I do have slightly a biased opinion against the day cream, but I mean, at the same time, you know, not all products start off perfect and this is a prime example of it. But yeah, so I think that the Joe Night Cream is by far the best cream that I've ever used. It feels extremely liquidy, but it dries so quickly and like, as you saw in the clip earlier, I applied it on my face and by the time that I finished talking, the night cream had already dried, which is absolutely amazing because now I feel super moisturized and I don't have to worry about like the cream itself rubbing off on my pillow, maybe some of the moisture going towards, you know, the little feathers in my pillow and whatnot, you know, stuff like that. And the day cream, I'd say is still a really great cream because from what I've seen in like, you know, Taiwan and Spain, like holds up perfectly fine. It's really just the extreme weather of Chicago or the windy weather of Chicago that really wears down the cream for me. And double applying, like, it, it helps, but it doesn't exactly, like, remedy that kind of harsh wind feeling. But regardless of which, I think that it's, like, not fair to subject it to, like, the super, super extreme of weathers. I think it's still a great product overall because it's so quick drying and it just leaves your skin with such a revitalizing feeling. And, I mean, overall, it is also the first version of the product, so you can't expect something to be perfect right off the bat. So... At the end of the day, I think the product is still an amazing product. I am i can't really speak on how it heals for acne scars though, because I don't really have that many acne scars to begin with, and uh, yeah, I, I, just, I just don't really know how I can speak on behalf of something that I don't really experience. I do break out on occasion when I like travel or if the seasons are changing, but you know, those are, I guess, more controllable breakouts. So. In conclusion, this product is an absolutely amazing product. You can still pick it up on Amazon, I hope, if it's in stock for $32. If it's not in stock, you'll probably have to pay a resale, which is a uh, times two markup, I guess. So typically it's $32. You probably expect around 64 plus for a product like this. Anyways, I highly recommend if you guys can pick it up, pick it up because it is a great product and I think this is my favorite cream to date. So still great cream, still worth your time, still worth your money. And thank you guys for listening to, I guess, this update because it's obscure, but you know, honest. And that's really what I wanted to give out. So yeah, I don't really know what else to say because I typically do hypebeast review videos. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you like the content, like and subscribe. If you didn't like the content, uh, like anyways, because, you know, why not? <laughs> it's just pressing a button. Pressing dislike doesn't really tell me that you dislike it. It just shows up as a number, so might as well like it, right? It's all just numbers, right? <laughs> anyways, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas if um, you're watching this on Christmas Day or a happy new year or happy holidays in general because it is that time to be super festive nowadays. So take care everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video which will probably be a vlog or it'll be December favorites. But yes, bye. <laughs>